Hey everyone, this is Michael Manna with the T4 Show, and today, yet again, we have another Final Cut Pro 10 tutorial. This has to do with crossfading or transitioning lower thirds or any other media like the one you see up in the viewer for the Prop and Go product that I reviewed earlier from PaddedSpaces.com. I had two transitions I wanted to put in, one for my lower third at the opening of the video and one for this one so I could fade in and out on the website to give the information at PaddedSpaces.com. Unfortunately, it didn't really do that. So here's what it looked like when we started after the opening. Hey everyone, this is Michael Manor from the T4 Show. And today we're gonna to take a look at a pretty unique product called the Prop and Go. Now see how it just came in and then disappeared. It didn't have any kind of fade or cross dissolve or transition, much like iMovie 11. It was easy enough to, to put that in with that. Same thing with the website when I brought it up uh, after capturing it with ScreenFlow. So I did some research and here's what you do. You have to right click, create storyline, or you can hit command G. So we'll do that right now. Command G, that'll create a storyline. You see there's a gray box up there. Now what you can do, and I'm gonna test this. I know you can right click and add a cross dissolve. What I'm gonna to try to do is add maybe two other transitions in here and see if it goes. So there's a black hole and there's another one there. So you can add your own custom transition. So let's see what happens. Hey everyone, this is Michael Manor from the T4 Show. And today we're gonna to take a look at a pretty unique product called the Prop and Go from Pat. That's not too bad. It's not too bad right there. Uh, I would never, I don't think I would uh, put that for there. So I would do two different transitions. Maybe, uh, maybe I would do a band transition there. Actually, the cross dissolve is already there. Hey everyone, this is Michael Manor from the T4 That's Show. Okay. And today we're gonna to take a look at a pretty unique product called the Prop and Go. Okay, well that's a lot better than what I had before. Now what I'm gonna do here is the same thing. Command G, that creates the storyline. And then I'm just gonna add a cross dissolve, which I'm gonna go Command Z. I'm gonna to get to know these keystrokes. Command T, Let's see if that doesn't. That didn't do it. Command T, there we go, okay. So, this is the Prop and Go all in one. They have the Prop and Go regular model and the Prop and Go light. You can go to paddedspaces.com and that's about it. You'll be seeing this a lot more, especially for iPad 2 or other tablet reviews. Uh, See, that's a lot. That's a lot nicer than what I had and I just couldn't figure it out. So I did further research. So once again, another tutorial. Uh, for Final Cut Pro 10, also known as Call Me Michael, learn Final Cut Pro 10. So that's about it for everybody here at the T4 Show. Thank you, and best luck in all your cross-dissolving endeavors.